So here's an incredible example of pronation on a side spin serve. And yes, this is for you lefties. I'm going to be in front of the camera here in a second showing this as a righty. But for you lefties, <laughs> I'm indulging your need to see more lefties. So here you go. So pronation is the act of having your strings face off to the side prior to contact and then rotating your racket 180 degrees so that the strings face the opposite direction after contact. So as a a lefty, his strings are facing off to the right, and then after he hits the ball, his strings are facing off to the left. Let me redraw that so it's exactly where his racket is. Perfect. Now, why do you want to do this? Because it's the fastest way to move your racket through contact. When you pronate, it's kind of like when you slam your uh, you know, fingers in a drawer in a car door and you're like, ow, and you start shaking your hand. Do it right now as, you, you know, as you're watching this video. When you shake your hand, if you just hurt yourself, you're not flicking your wrist forward and backward. You're actually rotating your forearm. And that's the fastest way to move your hand. So the racket is no different. We're trying to move the racket really fast and pronation is the way to do it. So let's actually give each frame a amount of degrees that the racket is rotated. So here his strings are facing off to the right, correct? So he's at zero degrees. So then we go to the next frame, which is right here. So I would say that's about 45 degrees. And then we go to the next frame. Oh, I'm going to say that's about 80 degrees. Then we go to the next frame. I would say that's about 90 degrees. And I'll, to I'll tell you why that's 90 degrees in a second. And then here, we're going to say that is 135. And then there, that's 180. So each frame, he's gone from zero degrees to 45, right there, that's 45, to 80, right there there and then 90. It's not easy because he's swinging so fast. There's 135 and there's 180. So then what we have to do is we have to look at the direction he is swinging to make sense of this. Notice he is not swinging toward his target. In fact, he is actually swinging toward these two people sitting in the stands. In fact, I would love it if these two people commented <laughs> below in the comment section. Hopefully these two people are, you know, followers and subscribers of Two Minute Tennis here on YouTube. So if you're these two people, or one of these two people right here, please comment below. And if you know who these people are, message them and say, hey, Ryan on Two, Min two Minute Tennis wants you to, to comment below. But notice that, um, I think it's uh, Malkin, he is not swinging toward Rublev. His racket isn't following where he wants the ball to go, but rather he's swinging toward these two people. He's actually swinging to the left of his target. When you're hitting a side spin serve, you don't want to swing toward your target. You want to point your strings toward your target. So his strings, when he's hitting the ball, are in between that 45 and 80, right? Because he's already contacted the ball by the time he's at 80 degrees. So his strings are facing where he wants the ball to go, but he's swinging up into the left as a lefty. That is what imparts the spin on the ball that actually bounced and curved into Rublev's body. So it's important to understand, I'm going to show you that in a second here right now, how to actually hit side spin when pronating. You want to swing really fast, but don't swing toward your target. Lead with the front edge, like you're going to chop the ball in half. You'll begin rotating, but at the moment of contact, if you're a lefty, you want the left edge to still be slightly in front while you're swinging to the left of your target. That's what puts the spin on the ball. And this is hopefully this demystifies how to actually put side spin on the ball. Please realize the ball is only on the strings for about four milliseconds. So the ball doesn't even know that you're pronating. By the time the ball touches the strings, it's off. And the racket hasn't changed its racket angle, the face angle, while the ball is on the racket. So it, the ball doesn't even know you're pronating. It only knows the angle your racket was facing and the direction your racket was traveling and the speed that you were swinging. So swing really fast, but swing away from your target. And as a lefty, that means swinging off to the left. Now that video is courtesy of Liam Apollato over at Court Level Tennis. Thank you so much, Liam, for allowing me to use all of your videos. I put his link in the description below. Please subscribe to his incredible channel. All right, slice serve with pronation. So a couple things that we want to really nail down in our mind and get, you know, our, our brain wrapped around. The first thing is when we hit a slice serve, and a slice serve is just, you know, when you basically hit a ball and it's spinning like a basketball player spinning a ball on the finger. What we don't want to attempt 
is curling around the ball. Like that's not what you're supposed to do. You don't curl around a slice. And a lot of people think that that's what happens. It's not. We want to go the opposite way. We want to make this move as we're hitting the slice. So a couple things. First, you don't want to swing towards your target. So let's say this closet door. It's actually my fuse box closet here for my, in the basement for the house. But let's say that's my target. Well, I don't want to swing toward my target. I want to swing as a right-hander. I want to swing to the right of my target. Just like the lefty we saw, he was swinging off to the left of his target. Remember those people in the stands, right? When he was hitting the ball to Rublev. He wasn't swinging toward Rublev. He was swinging toward the people in the stands. So don't swing toward your target. No different than on a topspin forehand. We swing up, but the ball goes forward. We point our strings where we want the ball to go, but we swing the direction we want the ball to rotate. So we're going to swing off to the right as a right-hander and off to the left as a left-hander. And by the way, really swing fast. Don't slow your speed down of you know your racket speed on a slice serve swing just as fast as you would with a flat serve the next idea is when we are hitting the ball and before during and after contact there's 180 degrees of racket rotation where here you can see the strings are facing off to the left and now here my strings are facing off to the right so 0 and 180 so we want to understand during that change of the racket face when does contact occur? And contact occurs before 90 degrees, right? So we've got zero degrees, here's 90. Now 90 is relative to, to, to the direction I am swinging. It is not relative to the direction I'm hitting the ball. All right, so I'm swinging up to the right, here's zero, here is 90, here is 180. I'm swinging that way even though I'm gonna hit the ball toward that closet. And the reason the ball is going to go toward the closet is because I'm hitting the ball before 90 degrees. So here's zero, right? Here's 45. Here's 90. Now, if I hit it 90 degrees, the ball would go directly toward the wall. But if I'm hitting the ball at, let's say, 80 degrees, where the right edge is still slightly in front, I'm rotating but the right edge is still slightly in front where it was really leading toward the ball at first. That's zero degrees. And then it's rotating, rotating. Now the racket, the racket's right edge is still in front. That's what's going to get the ball to go to the left because the ball goes where my strings point, right? right? <laughs> but my racket spins the ball the direction it's traveling. That's what makes the ball rotate. So we're at zero, we're at 45, we're at 80. That's why the ball goes this way. Then we're at 90, 135, and 180, and it just keeps going. Now, why do we want to pronate when we're hitting the ball? Well, it's because it's the fastest way to move your hand. If you've ever slammed your fingers in a drawer and you go, oh my gosh, ow, that really hurts. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go like this. You're like, ow, this really hurts my hand. If you saw somebody slam their fingers in a car door and go, oh my gosh, my hand really hurts, you'd be like, man, you got bigger problems than just slamming your fingers. Like, I don't know what you're doing, right? You would say, you go like this. Because why? This is the fastest way to move your hand. So when you're hitting a serve or an overhead, no different. We want to make this move, throwing a football, throwing a baseball, it's the same idea. We make this move when we're throwing or hitting a, uh, hitting a serve or an overhead. So that's why the racket, first you need a continental grip, that's why we want the racket on its edge so we can make a pronating movement and as you're pronating it squares up the racket into the position we need. So take the arm off on your Topspin Pro and learn how to slide along the ball and then turn. And what we're going to do is kind of compartmentalize these into two ideas. Spin the ball, then turn. And we'll start to mesh them together as we go here. But it's spin and turn. Spin and turn. And then what you can do is start to do them together. Still hitting on the right side of the ball as a right-hander. As a lefty, it looks like this. I'm spinning. Sorry, I apologize for how bad this probably looks because I, I am definitely not left-handed. But I'm going to spin the ball like this. I'm sliding and turning. A lot of players say, 
But why does it matter that you pronate after you hit the ball? The ball's already gone. Well, then what's the point of following through over the shoulder on a, on a, on a golf shot? Why should cars in a car race drive past the finish line? Why not just stop on the finish line? It's because you got to slow down if, <laughs> before the finish line in order for that to happen. We want to be accelerating all the way up to the point of contact, and there's no way to stop. Well, a body in motion tends to stay in motion. So as you're rotating, it just keeps going, which is why the pronation after contact and why I want you to learn that. Now, if you are looking for a coach in your local area to help you learn how to pronate when hitting a side spin serve, then please use my link in the description, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis and find coaches and even players in your local area to hit with and learn from. Use my link, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis and get 50% off when you join. Learn how to hit a side spin serve while pronating and there is no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.